Good morning, good morning. It's good to be back after the Monday that we see in the public holiday that was declared by the new Prime Minister, uh, uh, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, for the 10th Prime Minister. And of course, the market is taking it very well. For those of you who have the VSA 360 as well as the Smart Ruby, would have seen the chart actually turn green Pentagon even before we have the uh, breakout of the uh, so-called the big breakout especially on the result where on Monday, I think on Thursday, where the Prime Minister was sworn in. So that's certainly very good. But of course, all things will come in manner, right? In a good manner, as well as now the market has sort of pulled back. We will take a look where will this market go on from here. So let's see what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show. And definitely what we are seeing right now is going to be interesting. So let me just get down to the... Yes, that's right. So what we have this morning, right, we are looking at the session, the pullback. That's right. The pullback that many people are always talking about is how do we, uh, you know, uh, react or at least trade along this uh, region here because it's not a really easy way to trade and sometimes say that you know the market has gone too much uh, and people are also saying that maybe this rally is not happening in there with so much uncertainty but definitely that one thing is really good we have seen the Dow Jones uh, the comment as well that was made by the uh, US FOMC Federal Jerome Perum they may slow the US Fed hike and we did have that big move uh, almost a four percent move on the u.s nasdaq and right now if you look at it technology stocks right you would have known the technology stocks it's really really popping up and really moving up and i think that is definitely some people are looking into that of course all these are available on our smart robe as well our vsa 360 we will also look at them in here now if you have uh, any stocks that you want me to look at, do pencil those in. I'm happy to look into it. But we will be looking at this pullback that we've seen so far and the market has started to make a nice up move right now uh, that we've seen in here and it's looking pretty uh, interesting going forward in here. So we also look at the, the Green Pentagon and how we're able to pick those stocks, especially the intraday. And if you are an experienced, the VSA 360 will definitely do for you. For those of you who like a bit more, can sign up for our 10-day free trial and check out our VSA 360 in here. And of course, we'd like to hear your feedback and you can also uh, give me your comment, what are the things that you like on. Now, of course, our VSA 360, the focus on the intraday alert using our new stock alert notification and giving it the visual risk to reward uh, chart now uh, let's look at the VSA 360 this morning second of them what are the uh, usual thing that we normally look at let's take a look at them right now in here and uh, let's see so once we log into the VCA 360, uh, you'll see the market is down 10 points this morning in here. You can see the uh, update there, but it's still giving a nice test, you know, uh, despite the market actually went higher. So this is a good one, down 10 points. We want to see uh, what is likely to happen because Dow Jones last night was down 194 points, which is a minus 0 0.5. Uh, so we can see Hang Seng is uh, traded about 17 points in here. So a lot of stocks are green, right? And uh, you can see sort of mid-range. You got a little bit of red and you know, fair bit of green and uh, some of these are losing 1% in here. But what's all important is to let's turn our attention to this foreign fund flow in front of me here, right? The foreign fund flow, you can see there was a big 341 uh, there was 341, 341 million here. There could be some sort of, I think I will check this out here and here. And also the 78 million, there was an outflow uh, on the 30th, but yesterday there was some inflow. So that definitely good, that signified this market continued support by the foreign funds that we, we gave here. So that's certainly very good in here. Uh, and also the KLCI, this was the big move on the 24th. Uh, and before that, you could see uh, foreign funds were leaving. Remember, the result sort of uh, came out on the uh, 21st, I believe it was. Yep, 21st. And there was a lot of people checking out, leaving the country. But as soon they, they see the 10th Prime Minister being sworn in was uh, uh, Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim, they were confident and the markets do search up from here onwards. You could see on the 1st of December, 
uh, this is the uh, market that we have. So that's looking pretty good. And uh, let me just make a note here. All right. So that's uh, positive. As I say before, we need to see foreign funds coming in here. Then this market can really uh, rally up. All right. Of course, after looking at the chart here that we can see right in front of me here, uh, we have a confirm no supply and that's really good. This is really one of the strong sign of strength, uh, the confirm no supply and the market. I will think eventually it will break the 1502 in here. It's just that uh, we were down uh, this morning about nine points and uh, so and but volume is low let's see during the day now turning attention to the busa sector definitely the technology sector has been one of the comebacks you can see uh, between last week 24th and uh, 1st of december you can see the big move that we have seen and then followed by energy uh, property construction healthcare were positive and again now it's turning weaker POC logistic and this is the KLCI as a benchmark you can see many of the uh, let's turn our attention right now to the uh, so-called sector here so you can look at the sector uh, pretty much everything is green except for plantation and technology has the higher surge which is by all means I think not much of a surprise you can see big move that we seen yesterday in here market really search up and take note green pentagon since 16 October the market sort of moved sideways before moving up so you can see that's a nice one and uh, next week we can just sort out duration and uh, plantation has been uh, let's take a look at this yeah plantation has been sort of moving really pretty much in the sideway market after they gap in but other than that the, the reads has been very positive but of course we have the communication which is about 44 days since green pentagon and we can also look into that also make big move in here which means all your dg your uh, asiata those are doing well in here and i think those of you who have technology is up 40 uh here utility is up five percent and uh, energy of course energy has been up very nicely a nice trend you can see since green pentagon around the mid october so it's important when you want to pick some of these stocks during our intraday move right uh, like they talk about in here you need to find out what are those uh, stocks usually that move in tandem with the sector so that way you can always have the sector be, uh, behind you it's like basically you're going into an ocean right and you're on the sailing boat and you want the wind to be go behind you that's right the wind go behind the big sails then you're able to move forward and in very similar when you trade those individual or some socks you want to have the sector just like the big wind pushing this uh, individual sector going up in here so this is one of the things that I normally check out early in the morning to see where the market is heading on and then next uh, we're going to turn our attention also to the uh, what we call seasonal return all right the seasonal return you check from here uh, we can see 4747 here so you can see right now uh, for the month of November uh, already in the December you see month of November was 195 which is uh, eventually did turn positive but December is this month that we are rallying so uh, so far our forecast for the let me just slide this up a bit so you can see here has been pretty uh, let me just open up as in pretty much spot on uh, that we have the December uh, December rally which is coming we have the November uh, about one two percent in here but the October month was a nice recovery in here and of course the results uh, was going downhill that's right because of the of the so-called uh prime minister uh delay of appointment or you know what we call the hung parliament that will resolve through the wisdom of our king in malaysia and right now the focus is on this december rally and that's why today is the december 2023 we do think that this market is going to rally in here and we might just turn positive right way back from here four percent two percent and if we do get the three percent maybe just slightly turn positive for the entire of course not all stock did turn positive right just keep in mind and uh, you can see some of our big winner here were uh, BJ Bumi which is about wow that's a 57 percent we can take a look at them using the smart Roby in here so that's uh, so called and let's take a look at the big stock that just turned green pentagon all right so our alert dna was turned green pentagon not surprised 
uh, uh, of course, uh, Top Glove has turned, uh, uh, Globetronic has turned Green Pentagon, all the Kobe, all the technology. Tesla has turned Green Pentagon 38, Microsoft too, uh, Adobe, TSH has turned, FFB, okay, a food and consumer, and uh, so Ta'an, Microsoft, and Miller. So that's, that's the playbook that you want to be, right? And on the personal list, I have uh, Cycorp, uh, hitting some of these hit green pentagon Kobe I do have it in here green pentagon oh Mr. DIY has also turned green pentagon let's take a look at that one always interested in Mr. DIY and this morning is down there yep, a nice pop up here this was a big move uh, then today is down 2% in here and you can see this one is something I really like and you can see this nice pop up here and the market and also at this point uh, the reward to risk Right now, it's uh, 226, uh, 2.26 to 1. And if you switch on to the larger chart, uh, 6 one, you're able to see the uh, target in here. Okay, R1 is up here. Okay, so R1 is definitely 257. Now we're looking at 257 in here for that. Uh, the, ri the risk is about 195 here. All right, taking at 250, giving it a 2.26 reward to risk. If you are looking into the uh, Mr. DIY. Now uh, let's look at Kobe. Kobe also turned green Pentagon. Now we have Mayfern here. Want to look at Evergreen. All right. Uh, Ever oh, so just turned green Pentagon. All right. Pretty good one in here. Keep in mind, just turned green Pentagon for Kobe. So Evergreen. I think Beta is a new stock. That's right. Not sure. It yes, it's up 4% this morning in here. Evergreen. Right, Evergreen is rated 5 out of 8. I think that's a pretty good one. So I think this one continue to run your Evergreen in here. Right, long term stock FAD though. Beta. No, uh, we don't have Beta yet, I think. So probably going to look into the Beta. It's, not, it's a new stock. It should be updated in the VSA 360 soon. Let's take a look at Beta here. Uh, beta Max. Yep, you can see here, one, two, three, okay. Beta Max, uh, yeah, you won't necessarily see any uh, green pentagon because we don't have enough stocks to look at. But right now, it's very hard to say. Uh, no doubt you have uh, not enough charts to actually tell, right? Uh, because you need at least three months of uh, chart analysis for the VSA engine to analyze it. But right now, it's a bit of, uh, you know, Maybe switching to an uh, hourly chart will be better. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hourly chart will be better. Still looking okay. I do think that uh, beta has uh, some good support. You can see the moving average. Uh, the uh, the railway track still positive on the 2040 here. All right. Let's keep that in mind. All right. So that's a good one. Uh, thank you, Mayfern. Okay. Any other stocks that you want me to look at? I'll be happy, happy to do that. But I think with uh, beta, it's one of those stocks you want to trade on a sideway kind of uh, movement in here, await for kind of breakout. You don't want to be chasing those uh, breakout in here. Okay, so uh, we have seen the technology search, which we talk about in here, a lot of technology. And one of the ways you can really look into the technology stocks is going back to VSA 360 as a search before, go to the sector gain, right? And we want to look for some of these stocks okay and you can see switching to technology here and then you click submit and we want to learn for those turnovers okay those turnovers all right there you go we have the Great tech. Okay, now let's switch to some of these. We want to sort out by turnover. So we have the MYEG Genin tech. Okay, so we can see which is the better one. So we can just mouse it over here. Okay, oh, not too bad. MYEG, okay. Uh, Genin tech. Oh, Genin tech is good. A nice, what we call a stage two markup in here. All right, a Genin tech. Inari, also nice. All these stocks are doing well here. Uh, Genin Tech, uh, Penta, all moving up, you see, MPI. So we want to look for stocks generally that is hasn't done. So you go to page three, hasn't really moved up yet. If you do miss it, Notion, 
is no you want to go to the equipment okay semiconductors which is uh, Groptronic. I think Groptronics will be one of the lag on. Yep, just started. Just turned Green Pentagon uh, this morning. You can see at 10.30. All right. So Green Pentagon will be on SM track. Okay. Uh, but this one is $0.06. Cents, so it's going to be a really rough one. Uh, okay. So we identify. So look for those technology which is actually related to the US. You can see just now earlier on on our 360 here. You can see some of the stocks like uh, Adobe, uh, uh, I think Tesla is Tesla. Uh, what was this? some of these stocks inside here, right? That's already turned green Pentagon here. You can see uh, Microsoft, all right? And you can see IB, oh, not IBM, okay? Uh, Microsoft turned red Pentagon. We do see, yeah, Tesla, uh, they did turn back green Pentagon too on the 30th of November. So you can see you do want to align some of these stocks uh, with that, then you're able to, uh, okay, let me just. Uh, refresh this again right and uh, able to get some of these uh, better stocks all right so switching back to technology here submit but don't forget energy sectors also has moved well so you want to be using uh, the VSA 360 to look for it so we can sort out here and uh, CTOS Let's take a look at CITOS chart. So one of the things that uh, we just wait for the chart to highlight here. Yeah, CITOS is moving up back nicely, 144. DNEX uh, has turned back down again. Remember, it's still red depending on DNO. All right, we have to take a look at DNO and fix this one here. Uh, front can looking good. Okay, and uh, Penta, Great Tech, Inari. Let's go to page two. These are those good uh, UWC also same I think yeah same Unisam also same all of them are moving up nicely all right so this one Vitrox not the bad okay and uh, uh, technology Synergy MI yeah all of them are moving up uh, JHM is a semiconductor in here uh, this is the one that you want, may want to pay attention it's still red red right so wait for it to turn green Pentagon Amulus uh, started to turn green Pentagon Micron is doing pretty well and these sonic also turned uh green pentagon i think there was some sort of a project being is issued in here so you can really scroll down and uh, just eight days ago turn you can see here eight days ago just turned uh green pentagon last indicator was green and it's up two percent in here right and uh, one of the news i think it should be coming in here okay we just have to wait for that one All right, the news seems to be late here. Ah, yeah, here you go. Net profit jump due to renewal of passport and MI card issues. Oh, they did, did back another 140 million in here. All right, so who knows? Uh, D Sonic has turned Green Pentagon in here. So there's a lot, lot of stocks that you can be picking up in here. And that's for what we have seen this morning. All right, let's move on to uh, the KLCI where it's likely to be moving. And based on the volume spread analysis, uh, what we have known, and uh, the market is poising up right now. I think it, it will eventually hit the 1500 and you have this pullback in here. But more importantly, the green pentagon has appeared. So it's good to sort of know the market stages as you go up. We have green pentagon in here, the pullback which is happening right now, and it should break up soon after the, the continuation of a stage two, you can see, Green Pentagon was on the 13th, somewhere just before the 13th here. When remember election was when election was on the 19th. So there was that the small drop that we see here was due to the uh, foreign fund flowing. But of course, eventually the foreign fund did find, came back in when uh, Anwar was sworn in. You could see that we did have uh, live FB covering that one. And right now the market pulled back and this morning is just down about 10 points in here. This is the uptrust. Take note, the 1500 remain the big resistance, but the trend is pretty much, you can see the railway track between the 20 and 40, it's still pointing upwards, okay? So, and the volume on this pullback is slightly low, so that's pretty healthy and something that I really like too. So, uh, the continuation of uh, stage two markup is slightly to move from here onwards. Now, if you look from the uh, VSA uh, 360 plug-in on our trading view you can see also market pullback very similar 
and the market has moved up almost 11 percent now generally and the 200 moving average is this big red line here it's trying to break out in here uh i do think that at one point it will break out right so right now you can see this uh volume is diminishing so we have to see whether the continuing rally that we see in the us will push up and this market can also go higher right now so of course uh the key thing is how do we look for shares in this stage two markup which we've been talking on i do hope that you have prepared a list of your own watch list or stock list but if not you can use the intraday trade or trading short term some of them are longer term in here but uh for the market continuing to a stage two so we want to look for before we look that let's look at some of the stocks that we came out in our intraday screener on the 25th which is last friday in here as i said before uh, some of you may be familiar, familiar with the format that we do every morning we'll look at some of the stocks around 9 36 onwards uh, if it does turn green pentagon in here sm track is five cents so generally we want to avoid anything above uh above the 40 uh avoid those below the 47 cents so we want to take those above the 47 cents so lee Han and capital a so let's take a look at them and then in the afternoon uh we just keep an eye on the green pentagon here sam cam uh came in about 4 11 huh that's about 4 11 just past four o'clock at the uh at the 675 here and you could see this one is the Lee Han, all right, uh, spotted uh, VC 360 spotted the Pentagon intraday at uh, at 85.5 at 9.36, uh, and notice is above the zero line, and then it did hit hit high, no doubt, uh, 89 cents, uh, giving it a four percent of a 200 uh, ringgit potential uh, price gain on uh, on that one. Now remember the target they are going for are very short, just less than a week, uh, for kind of three to four percent kind of return. Next one is Capital A. You can see the market hits uh, earning fifty nine cents at nine fifty two a.m. Uh, then the market hit uh, subsequently next day. I think hit sixty one half for four point two percent, giving it a potential profit at uh, two hundred and eleven ringgit. Right, small one, just small profit uh, on the very short term next one uh at the in the afternoon four o'clock is the sam cam uh 4 11 p.m 675 uh then this morning the market did move up nicely it's beginning of a nice run in here and remember all the technology stock just like endless is starting to move up that is up a uh, high of 69 cent with a 2.2 percent for profit of 11 uh, 111 ringgit uh for from a 5k trade so pretty good one here so idea i think many of you would have known the pentagon in stock idea is to trade those intraday stock screen through using the pentagon intraday screener just like every day you got fishes in here look for stocks above 47 cents with a good uh very good win rate about 60 to 70 percent uh three to four percent in here faster using uh in compounding in and uh, let's look at our list this morning on VSA 360. Definitely on top of me here, we have uh, YLL, so this one we avoid. Uh, Tome 102, okay, we'll pick Powerwell, 19 cents. Uh, definitely not Pekka, 86 cents. So we've got Pekka and Tome, two stocks. All right, for this morning, and of course, next week when we come back, we'll be looking at this too. So let's take a look at the uh, Tome, or better still, we just go to our screener here and uh look for intraday i think we have intraday here go to premium alert and go to intraday alert so we are looking at uh oh cheetah global also turned but this is 26 cents okay it's going to be a rough pekka and you can see looking at the chart why pekka not too bad right see you can turn green pentagon here so that's a nice one of course, let's see whether you will hit the minimum target of three to four percent. Next one is Tomel. Okay, Tomel also uh, turned green pentagon this morning in here, right? So that's a movement in here. Uh, YLE, you can see right this kind of stocks all dot 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 not so good, isn't it? Right, and that's why we want to avoid uh, Sardinia. Okay, no, that's twenty six cents. Uh, Power well. Power 19 cents, no. Uh, Cheetah Global. Oh, the green banner. This one's not too bad. I think this one has some potential here. Uh, EPMB. All right. Uh, this morning turned green pentagon, but certainly has moved back down. Uh, the rest. 
Uh, we just have to wait in the afternoon to see some of these stocks that we have or not. All right. So those uh, stocks, I hope you have taken down very quick one just now in here. And of course, you can get more by subscribing to VSA 360, uh, which our part of our in here. So we are still continuing the update of our 100 day orientation uh, on boarding orientation where some of our newer member and older member beginning their three month training in here. And if you're not, I do think that this is one of the important things that uh, giving it to uh, training in here. All right. Uh, we have Kevin here has a question. So great. We got Richie, right? But let's take a look at the, when we first started off. Uh, as I said before, this uh, competition or intent to train people. They started with fifty thousand, and there were two thousand four hundred. Nick was ahead, and Ahmad was fifty thousand. And then, of course, this is going for three months, and then you could see right now they have moved up to one hundred eighty-seven thousand, which is a profit one hundred thirty-seven thousand in here nick about 137 thousand too so they are trading a lot more on the intraday movement vince was about 79 thousand maybe it was 49 thousand in here lots of sideways trading here and of course you can see how many trades started with 41 trades and you notice in just one week itself has moved up to 90 trades and that's what we talk about when you do the intraday you have to do a lot more trading small cut you see maximum loss was minus two max biggest profit was eight thousand three now take note no doubt this is a trading a stock trading competition where we the focus is mainly on the skill and implementation stock screening as well as running your uh, system in here all right so that of course some people say this is not realistic enough and i do agree uh, in some manner because they are not using their own money right in, of course but what we are trying to demonstrate that the vsa technique that is used by our student continue to shine forward you can see profits are bigger uh, losses are smaller in here all right so this is definitely one way to uh, trade using the VSA 360. A good lesson to learn in here for those of you. And you can also participate in our educational program. And this weekend, uh, tomorrow actually, we are doing our Palm All Futures. We're starting at 9.30 in here. And if you're a member, you can join in for a small fee, only 200 ringgit when you learn to trade more. Uh, 4888 is our masterclass in here. So that you're able to uh, access our VSA 360 and also get the uh, plugin that we have. All right, so the pullback method has been postponed. So we'll do this maybe on uh, following Saturday. And this is the cost itself. Uh, futures, uh, uh, focusing on the CPO futures, mainly on that because we have a very good system for that. So the product, our VSA uh, here has been some of these and we already shown you some of uh, our the other members is like Nick is the next uh, success story that we have with our VSA 360 and you can also do that right in here all you gotta do is join our program in here and invest your time and I think that is for low cost in here and many reviews people are giving us uh, I think this December we have a new topic too right and now uh, okay all right so let's uh, look at some stocks I think uh, we got Steven, do we wait for pullback here? So Rama, I think uh, the question on Steven, I think pullback you need to understand. Pullback is only for the KLCI, but individual stocks, they behave differently. Do you trade individual stocks or you trade the index? You trade individual stocks. So you have to look at those individual stocks and learn to play by them. And of course, the VSA 360 will definitely put you into it. So let's take a look at the, here, GFM. Okay, so again, this GFM, uh, it's five out. Yeah, it's a nice one still in green Pentagon. Switching to six, uh, yeah, we can see uh, profit target is at 24 cents. So I do hope that you've gone in around here, the 16 cents, okay? And this one is for uh, GFM, all right? Broke out nicely here, uh, rated five out of eight. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a Sharia, GFM, I think they do a lot of maintenance. All right, and you can see, oh, 31% in November. This is a penny stock, so okay. So it can move very, very fast. And let's take a look at the company website. Yeah, they do a lot of maintenance, you can see from here. Okay, good one. Thank you for uh, Ramola. We got Kevin, also same. Okay, let's look at MYEG. So you can see MYEG and we are lifetime. This is the chart in here. Nice breakout in here, right? A nice breakout in here. 
and uh, this is now doing if you want the intraday movement this is the one that you can get all right you can switch on to the hourly chart here and that's really one of the reason uh we advocate you can see right holding up nicely railway track strict uh, still up up 25 percent so that way you can use the vsa 360 here right and you can also monitor using the intraday which is on running on trading view. that's really one of the big big benefits of our trade vsa package unlike other package in here okay so any other stocks you want me to look at just pencil those in and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube thank you for your audience in here and for those of you uh, who is joining us tomorrow for our cpo uh, long and short and income trading method i think that's the one that i think many of us are looking forward to learn to trade in here and you are not i highly recommend uh, some of our audience to join our vsa 360 in here and rip this december 2022 uh, rally thank you for watching I'll catch up with you later on Monday. Bye-bye.